Hey, what's up guys? I created this show room and of course in this rendering you can see that the highlight of the, the rendering is the core and the source of the light and it's, it's really simple to do it. I mean, in really simple step you could do this and I would like to show you how I did this. First, I went, I created a simple box. I I went, I set that to zero and then I went and I set that, okay, 2,500, so 25 meters with 20 meters and with a height of five meters, 500 centimeters, yes. Then I created a cylinder and I set that this, perfect. And I said that the cylinder should be around 400 diameter for the car. And I placed this on the middle. Yes. But for, for the box, I moved a bit down. As you can see here, that this is it. Good. After done this, I know that it's zero and I know the height is, of the room is five. 5 meter and I wanted that this is 400. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing this part. As you can see, this is the part here. Good. Then I went to cut this and I click at this and pick stock objects and well, and here it is. Good. After then, which is really important, I convert it to editable poly. I click at this part here in the middle. If you, uh, I can show you more clear what I'm doing. Edge faces. I made an insert and I said that 20, 20 centimeters thick this part. And I scale it up. I said to fix 500. And I delete this. Sorry. And I delete this that the source of light comes inside. That's it. Then I made again another box. Uh, sorry, cylinder. Yes, for the bottom, this is for the bottom, and 300, up, up we had uh, 400, bottom I'm going with around 50, and this 50, it's enough. And I'm going to place again this on the middle. Yes, this is in the middle. And I'm going to lower a bit this, like 20, and I'm going to to cut this again and I'm going to convert pro cutter and I'm why I'm not doing because I'm outside and I cannot select this and there it is it's inside yes then of course one more time okay make sure it out of the I did a poly, I click at this, I said you should be zero. And then I went minus 20. Then I created an inset of 10. Click at this to go up and I said that this should be zero again. Good. Then I want to grow this part and I want to detach it. that this should be another different material and it should be a detail under uh, another materials. Good. Then what I did is I created a camera. I'm going to add this, put it in the middle, go to the camera. Yes, yeah, everybody can say that why is this one like this? Because I was working already and it said that the settings it's really simple. I use the camera of, of 25 field of view millimeter and then I went down. Environment clipping and you get this line. And you can see if you look here, this is it. Because I want to leave the camera outside, I don't want to use a huge angle. And then it's really simple. You can go here to the corner setup, go to the common, make 75, just click here, image aspect 75, and then 
you scroll it how much you want. But this is 800, you see? So 0 0.75. This is the aspect ratio of the photo. 2500, for example, really high quality. And then we go to the Corona. Yes, this is the light for the moment. But I've used something else. It's already here. This I will delete this. We can create this one more time. It's not a problem. I added some HDR from Chaos Cosmos. I added this one first. You can see it's in the middle. It's really nice. It's really beautiful. But I want to add something different. First, I want to add this one. You see, the light is different. But why I'm doing this is that I want to move this sorry so this here as an instant and leave it right there but again i'm gonna jump back and add this better why because this has better reflections as you can see here and the normal that's good we can work no further first i wanna add a material corona physical materials I want to add map, bitmap. I want to add the metal. I want to go to the. I want to check if it is the color now. Metalness. Metalness. This should be the color. Yes. Or. Yes, this is the color. I'm going here. I'm going to click here, and we can go direct and add it. Because, but we have to click a material so we know what are we doing. Yes, this is in the middle. Now I'm going to add a UV mapping. Good. Why is not this should be clicked that we see what is going on here? I want to add this like three, really, like two maybe. Then I want to add another bitmap, for example, the normal. I'm gonna go here, create a more corona, normal, connect together. Sometimes it's just weird. Ah, okay. It was waiting till it finished because these are really high quality uh, textures. Yes, on base bumping, of course it doesn't work because it needs a gamma input. Then I wanna add the uh, displacement. I think this was not this was the roughness. Okay, we need it anyway. I'm going here to add the roughness. This looks good for the moment. And the pumping. Yeah, there is the displacement. We'll just look a bit if we if we go closer, for example. We will see then. As you can see, it's yeah. There it is. Good. Then we go back and we continue with all, all the material materials. Physical mapping. First, I want to make sure that all the lines that I'm seeing here are connected, are welded good. Yeah, we click here and we say this should be like 001, but a really good welded. And I want to click that, I want to add UV mapping, let's say like 1000, well, sorry. Thousand, thousand, good. I wanna add this texture. You see, it's changing. It starts to change. That's good. Now I wanna add this bitmap. I wanna go to plaster. Yeah, I wanna add this one. This is also color. Good. I'll add this here. I wanna say yeah, that's good. So it could be 0.5, a bit hot. 
Yep. And then I want to add another bitmap, which is the Yeah, the displacement. Then we create a chrono normal. We connect it here to the base bump. We add a comma input so that we don't have problem. Yes, and the roughness. I think that this should be the roughness reflection. Closeness, flat. Yeah. As you can see, no. If we go here, we will see it really good. I want to add a bit of. Sometimes it's weird. Sometimes I don't see any changes. Okay. Let's stop this for a second. Let's add the cars and then we will see we will see further. For the cars I just went here, 3D models. Could go here. Go at home and you see it here. There are and Sorry, and I ch choose this too. You wait a bit. Yes, one. I changed it like this. I went like this. Thirty-five, and one. I placed it here, and I moved this one also here. Instance and mirrored, and added also this here. And then of course the other car, which is this one. I moved it here in the middle. So I said zero, 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 zero. I rotated a bit. And this is it for the moment. Yes, of course, now we have to, to work further because as you can see this car is not leaning proper I think so yeah, that's good yeah that's good so I want to stay here, the camera, I want to lock it. Let the camera move and I want to go here to the view. And move this till I see the lights, yes, that's good. And also this one here. Yeah, then I added also a human. Which actually was this one, I think. Yeah, no. Mm, just let me find it for a second. I guess anyone you can use it, it's not a problem. Just try to find it. Which one was? I think was this one. I mean, you can use also this one, or no, maybe let's go to the downloads, and we'll see which one we used it. <coughs> yeah, this one. I went here, I put it here, and that's it. Yeah. And this is the end result, I mean, of course, in, in interaction rendering you don't see that clean you, you can see here it's more reflection here not but after 
after it's done then you will see it already start reflecting here it looks beautiful this texture will be, look really nice and of course I didn't use I just use zero here and you got a perfect rendering right here and that's it guys for today thank you and see you next video bye bye